Trellises come in many forms. They can be made from wood, plastic, string, or metal like this one made from a panel of concrete reinforcement wire attached to a frame made from PVC pipe. I made this one using some string and some people even use cattle panels as trellises like this one. In this video I'm going to show you 12 different vegetables that can be grown on a trellis in your own garden. Number one on my list of 12 things you can grow on a trellis is long beans. They're also sometimes called yard long beans or asparagus beans. I've grown two types, the light green type and the red noodle type. They're both very productive and easy to grow. You normally grow things on a trellis when they grow very tall or they like to climb. And in this case, the long beans are both. They grow very tall and they do climb. Last year I grew them in my five foot tall homemade tomato cages and I added bamboo at the top of the cages so they would have more room to grow. And they still ended up going to the top of the bamboo. Long beans are great for growing a lot of food in a small amount of space, which is one big advantage to vertical gardening. And harvesting from a trellis is also a lot easier than bending over to pick bush beans. Cucumbers is number two on the list and is probably my favorite thing to grow on a trellis. I used to grow straight eights every year and I had pretty good luck with them but occasionally I would have trouble with bitter skins. Then I switched to Market Moore 76 and they've been my favorite cucumber ever since. Years ago I used to grow my cucumbers on the ground but the first time I tried growing them on the trellis I couldn't believe how much better it was. They grow a lot straighter fruits they're a lot easier to find and you don't end up wasting those ones that you can't find and end up getting too big. The tendrils on a cucumber plant will climb on just about anything so you don't need anything fancy. Something as simple as string tied to a few nails on a privacy fence will work for cucumbers. Here's a look at one day's harvest in our garden. When you think of growing things on a trellis Melons might not come to mind, but there are quite a few varieties of small melons that work great for growing on a trellis. Last year I grew two different varieties in the same cage. They were chrysanthemum melons, which you see here, and also cicada's sweet melon. Cicada's sweet melon is one that I've grown before, and I did a video on this melon and the other one that I grew in the cages last year. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a link down below. Number four is Malabar spinach. Malabar spinach is another great plant to grow on a trellis, and it also grows very tall. It's another plant that produces a lot of food in a small amount of space, and it seems to thrive in the heat. Regular spinach bolts fairly early in our area, so it's kind of nice to have some greens out in the garden that will be there all summer long. I occasionally pluck some of the younger leaves and munch on them while I tour the garden. Coming in at number five is pole beans. Like everything else on this list, harvesting is a lot easier from a trellis than if you're bending over one of those bush beans. There are many different varieties of pole beans, and this particular variety is called Kentucky Blue. I've had very good luck with that, but I'm going to be trying several different types this year. So if you want to follow along and see how those do, be sure and subscribe. Number six on the list is Armenian Cucumber. Armenian Cucumbers are very similar in the way they grow to regular cucumbers but they get much longer than regular cucumber and they are sometimes called yard long cucumbers. They do get very long if you let them, but I like to pick them when they're not quite as big and more tender and crisp, like the one I'm holding here. If you let them start to get too wide, they get pithy inside and aren't as good to eat. 
Here's a look inside at one of the very big ones and as you can see it gets a little bit spongy and pithy inside. Here's a look at a plate full sliced up that are about the size that I like to pick them. Number seven on our list of things to grow on a trellis is python snake beans. Even though they're called snake beans, python snake beans are actually an edible gourd. I used one of our large tomato cages as a trellis for this one, but I soon found out that these require a lot of room. So if you decide to try this one, make sure you allow it plenty of room. One thing I found interesting about them is their unique blossoms. Here's a look at some we harvested one morning along with some long beans. They're best if you harvest them between 12 inches and 30 inches long, but they quickly grow much larger than that. If you ignore them for a few days, you can end up with some that are very large like these I'm cutting here. There are many varieties of squash that can be grown on a trellis, and on this trellis I have some butternut squash growing. Smaller types of squash are better suited to a trellis than the larger types that would require some additional support. Coming in at number nine is jicama. One of the first things I learned about jicama is that every part of the plant above the ground is poisonous, including the leaves, stems, flowers, beans, and pods. The only part of the plant that is edible is the underground tuber, but you also have to make sure to remove the leathery skin before you eat it. I wasn't sure what to expect, but it turned out that jicama grew pretty well in our sandy loam soil. It doesn't grow very tall, but it does need something to climb on, such as a trellis. This is one of our larger ones, and we also had some medium-sized ones and some small ones. Number 10 is tomatoes. How much support your tomatoes need depends on what type of tomatoes you're growing. For some determinant and dwarf type tomatoes, you might not need much support and something like a wooden stake will work just fine. But if you plan to grow indeterminate tomatoes, some of those can reach over 10 feet tall. For indeterminate tomatoes, a sturdy cage will work well, but many gardeners use trellising systems for their tomatoes. And string trellising systems are especially popular with greenhouse growers. At number 11 on the list, tomatillos are a plant that grows much like tomatoes do. And like indeterminate tomatoes, they require some support and should be grown on a trellising system or in a very large cage. For best pollination, two or more plants should be grown. As an extra side benefit, the hummingbirds seem to like to visit the tomatillo flowers in our garden. Number 12 might be a surprise to a lot of folks, but peppers are something that can be grown on a trellis. This is a Brazilian starfish, and in our garden it got to over six feet tall. The sugar rush peach right next to it got to almost five feet tall before it was done growing. And poblano is another pepper that comes to mind that can easily grow over five feet tall. Now that you've seen the list, if there's anything that you grow on a trellis that isn't on this list, be sure to add it down in the comments below, and I'm sure other folks would like to see it too. If you're just now finding this channel, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.